Good morning, class. Miss Diffie here. Okay, so for today's lesson, we are going to continue from our previous lesson, which is Module 4, Learning World. So, make sure before we start, you have your English Plus One student book ready and open to page 46. Okay? So, can we start now? Very good. So today, you will be able to okay, listen to interviews, mendengar interview okay, about learning a language. Berkenaan belajar sesuatu bahasa. Okay, so now for this lesson, you have to make sure your speaker or your headphone is very loud so you can listen carefully throughout this lesson okay so now class we will start with the words of the day so for the words of the day you are going to have 13 words okay so now let's see what are the words Okay, number one is listen to. Listen to. So you look at this picture. This girl is listening to music. So in Bahasa, listen to means mendengar. Number two is spell. Spell. Okay, just like this girl here, she is spelling the alphabets. So, spell in Bahasa is mengeja. Number three is check. Check. Okay, check. If you look at this picture, okay, the board is checking for items. Okay, so in Bahasa, check means menyema. So just like in my class, I always ask you to check your answer before you give me your homework. Okay, so check is menyema. Number four, repeat. Repeat. So repeat means you look at this girl, she is saying the same word over and over. Check, check, check. So she is repeating the word check. In Bahasa, bermaksud mengulangi. Okay, repeat means mengulangi. Next one is learn. Learn. So, learn means, if you look at this picture, this boy is learning Korean. Just like you, you are learning English. So, learn in Bahasa is belajar. Okay? Belajar means learn. Next word is practice. Practice. So, practice means if you look at this girl, she is practicing how to wear her makeup. Okay, so practice in Bahasa, we say berlatih. Berlatih. Practice. Next word is revise. Revise. Revise, you look at this picture here. This girl is revising her homework. So, revise in Bahasa means mengulang kaji. Mengulang kaji. Next word is ask questions. Ask questions. 
So ask questions. You look at this picture. This boy is asking questions because he raised his hand. Okay, so that means ask questions in bahasa is bertanya soalan. Bertanya means ask, questions means soalan. Do, can you follow so far? Okay, let's keep going. Next word is understand understand so if you look at this picture here this man understands something so he able to learn so he is able to learn dia dapat belajar because he understand so understand in bahasa is faham faham so every time after class I would always ask you, do you understand the lesson? So class, do you understand? You can comment down below. Next word is concentrate. 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 So concentrate means menumpukan perhatian. So just like this boy right here, he is concentrating on his computer okay so he is concentrating on his computer bermaksud menumpukan perhatian next word is make notes make notes so make notes means mencatat nota so just like this boy right here, he is making notes on his notebook. So he is making notes on his notebook. Mencatat nota. Next word is write. Write. So write means, yes, that's right. Menulis. Okay, write means menulis. So this man right here is writing on his book. Okay, and the last word is read. Read. Okay, so read means that's right. Membaca in bahasa. So, this boy right here is reading a book. Okay, so read means membaca. Very good. So, now that we learn 13 new words, so now we can start with our listening activity. Okay, so hear me out. Okay, you have to listen and Write your answer when you listen to this audio. Okay, so for you to write the answer, make sure you have your textbook ready on page 46 so we can start. So have you prepared your pencil? Have you got your textbook? Very good. So now we can begin. So here, there are three people that you are going to listen to. First one is Mario, Mark and Peter, and lastly is Hannah. So you are going to listen three audios from three different people for three different interviews. Okay, so I hope you are ready. So first, let's hear an interview from Mario. Vocabulary and listening. Exercises 3 and 4. 1. So, Mario, you're a football player. Are you learning English? Yes, I am. 
because I live here and I play football here. Ball here. What are you doing now? I'm watching TV. <laughs> It's good for my English. Is English difficult? It's okay. My listening is not so good. Two. Mark, Peter, police officers in London are learning languages. That's right. Are you learning the same language? No, we aren't. I'm learning Russian, and Peter's learning Arabic. Why are you studying those languages? Because a lot of people from different countries live in London or visit London. What are you doing now, Mark? I'm checking new vocabulary on the internet. Is Russian difficult? <laughs> For me, yes. It's got different letters. Reading, reading, and writing are difficult. Three. Hannah, what language are you studying? Mandarin. Really? At school? Yes. We've got a teacher from China. What are you doing now? I'm revising for my exams now. Is Mandarin a difficult language? Yes, it's very difficult. The pronunciation, the sounds are difficult, but I like it. Can you say goodbye in Mandarin? Yes, 再见 So, class, now that you have listened to three different audios from three different interviews, now let's answer some questions to see whether or not you understand the interview. If you did not understand, you can always rewind the video and listen one more time. So now let's answer the question. So number one, what are the people learning? So first we look at Mario. So what was Mario learning? So Mario is learning English. That's right. Next one, Mark and Peter. So what did Mark and Peter learning? Okay, so Mark and Peter are learning Russian and Arabic. That's right. Okay, so Mark and Peter are learning Russian and Arabic. And last one we have Hannah. So Hannah is learning. That's right. Hannah is learning. Mandarin. Okay, so those are the answers from three interviews on what the people learn. Okay, so now you are going to listen to the audio one more time. Okay, listen to answers for number one. What is he doing, or what is she doing? And number two, you are going to listen for answers for the question, "What does he think is difficult?" or "What does she think is difficult?" So you are going to listen to the audio and find the answers for each of the people that you listen just now. Okay, so make sure you turn up your speaker volume and listen to the audio very carefully. Are you ready? You can write down your answers on your textbook or any other paper that you have. So now let's begin. Okay, class. So I have separated the interviews in three sections. So first, we are going to listen to Mario's interview. So listen and try to answer the question. Vocabulary and listening. 
Exercises three and four. One. So Mario, you're a football player. Are you learning English? Yes, I am, because I live here and I play football here. Ball here. What are you doing now? I'm watching TV. <laughs> It's good for my English. Is English difficult? It's okay. My listening is not so good. Okay, so now that you have listened to the interview for Mario, now let's answer the question: What is Mario doing? So he is watching TV. Very good. The next question: What does Mario think is difficult? So the answer is: He thinks. Listening is difficult. I hope you get that right, or you can always repeat this audio one more time. Now for the next interview. Okay, class, you are going to listen. What is Mark doing, and what does Mark think is difficult? I am going to play the audio, and you have to listen. And answer the questions here. Are you ready? Two. Mark, Peter, police officers in London are learning languages. That's right. Are you learning the same language? No, we aren't. I'm learning Russian, and Peter's learning Arabic. Why are you studying those languages? Because a lot of people from different countries live in London or visit London. What are you doing now, Mark? I'm checking new vocabulary on the internet. Is Russian difficult? <laughs> For me, yes. It's got different letters. Reading, reading, and writing are difficult. Okay, class. So now that you've listened to the audio for the interview from Mark and Peter, now let's answer the question. Number one, what is Mark doing? So he is checking new vocabulary on the internet. So the second question, what does Mark think is difficult? So he thinks reading and writing. Are difficult. I hope you got that right. And last one, we are going to listen to Hannah's interview and answer the question. Listen and answer. Three. Hannah, what language are you studying? Mandarin. Really? At school? Yes. We've got a teacher from China. What are you doing now? I'm revising for my exams now. Is Mandarin a difficult language? Yes, it's very difficult. The pronunciation, the sounds are difficult, but I like it. Can you say goodbye in Mandarin? Yes, 再见 Okay, class. So now that you've listened to Hannah's interview, now let's answer the question: What is Hannah doing? She is revising for her exams. Very good. And last one: What does Hannah think is difficult? So she thinks pronunciation is difficult. So now you have answered six questions. From three different interviews, did you get all correct? I hope you do. So now, at the end of the lesson, we are going to have homework. So, if you look in your Google Classroom, you will find a Google form that I will share with you. Answer the questions in the Google form and listen to the audio one more time. If you need to repeat the lesson again, so class, that is all from me. I hope I can see you again soon. Bye.